Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys all of my best of 2018 beauty products. These are beauty products that I either continuously use, repurchase, or constantly just reaching for like the entire year of 2018. So if you guys would like to see my best of beauty products, then please keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. So if you've watched any of like my monthly favorites, which I typically do every two to three months, most of these products are repeat products. So sorry if you're seeing them again, but these truly are products that I constantly use and love and have repurchased so many of them. So I'm gonna start off by the order that I typically do my makeup because that's how it makes sense to me in my mind. So I'm gonna start off with primers today. This year, I feel like there are two primers that I love, could not live without, and I'm pretty sure if you watch a lot of my like videos, you'll know exactly which primers I'm talking about. So the first one that I love is this Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. It's supposed to be a primer and um, a moisturizer two-in-one, and I love this. It's very liquidy, so it's not very thick like a true moisturizer, but I love it because it's very moisturizing on my face. I have drier, like, combo skin, and I definitely see a difference using this. It feels so comfortable on the face. This next primer is the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. I actually started using this and discovered this product this year. I don't know, I'm not sure if this came out this year or not, but I did start using this product and I love it. First of all, it smells like coconut. It's very comfortable. It's definitely a little bit thicker than the Smashbox Primerizer, but I do also feel a difference with this. It is very moisturizing, which I love, especially when I have very, very dry skin out. So I really do like this and I do recommend this also for those who have dry skin. So next are my foundations. And for 2018, I feel like I've tried out so many foundations. I love so many foundations, but these are the two foundations that I truly feel like Every time I traveled, that was a true testament of which were the foundations that I knew like I constantly reached for and I knew that I could rely on, especially when I'm traveling. So I have two foundations. One is a drugstore and one is a higher end. The first drugstore one is the Maybelline Superstay. This is the one that's up to 24 hour wear. I do wear the shade 220 Natural Beige. And although I have dry skin, this matte foundation is a very soft matte. I feel like it's still very comfortable and I can even wear this during the winter months and I don't feel like it's super drying. This definitely is a full coverage foundation though. So the next foundation is the high-end foundation and it is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I do also wear this in Natural Beige. What a coincidence, right? Um, and I really like this foundation because it's a full coverage but also like a more of a satin dewy finish which I love for having drier skin and it's very dependable meaning like my skin some days are definitely drier than others I do not have to worry that this foundation is not going to work it has worked every single time I have used this foundation so I love it especially for special occasions this is like my go-to foundation so moving on, I would typically put on concealer next. So for the 2018 year, I also have two favorite concealers that I use non-stop. And the first one is ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I really enjoy this formula. It's very like lightweight and it's very creamy. It's very like blendable and it doesn't just like stick in one place. So I love it. The only thing is it does dry a little bit darker. So I feel like I haven't found my perfect shade. So I do mix two shades and I have medium 22 and light neutral 15. I do mix the two, but other than that, I really like this formula. The next concealer is also one of my favorites and it is a high-end concealer and that is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I do wear the shade Light Beige. This is a full coverage concealer, but it's very creamy. It has a very good like um, time from when it first applies and dries. I just feel like recently I've been trying so many concealers that they just dry down way too quickly or they're just not as blendable and I never have a problem with this concealer. It's very dependable and I just love it. And it has truly been <laughs> knocking out all my other concealers this is probably my number one and then my color pop one is like right next to it or just like right just a little bit right underneath it so right now this is like my number one favorite concealer so i have dry skin so i typically don't powder my entire face down but there is one powder that i feel like is a standout powder that i did finally purchase and try out this year and it is the cover effects perfect setting powder and i do have the shade translucent light 
and I think that this although this product gives you a little bit less than typical loose powders out there I love the packaging first of all because it has a built-in sifter so it makes it so friendly to travel with and it has a very nice softening like a softening effect and it's just so comfortable and it doesn't feel heavy or it doesn't kick up my face I already have dry skin I do not really like to use loose powders to set my entire face and I've never had a problem with this so I really have been enjoying this cover effect setting powder. So moving on I do have a few brow products that I really enjoyed in 2018 and the first one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I do wear the shade dark brown and I really enjoy this formula because I feel like it's not too waxy, it's not too stiff and I just feel like I can always create consistent brows with this. I also love that it does come with a spoolie as well. Another brow product that I discovered in 2018 and love and consistently use is the Benefit Precisely My Brow and I do wear the shade number 5. I really first of all love this packaging. I feel like it's very luxurious. It looks very nice and I feel like it's definitely safer especially for travel but very similar to the Anastasia one. I feel like the product itself, like the formula, is just right on point. It's not too waxy. It's just perfect. It doesn't require you to really put a lot of pressure when you're using the brow pencil. Also, I also love the spoolie that it has, but I really, really enjoy this brow product as well. The last eyebrow product that I really enjoyed and have become a staple in my eyebrow routine is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. This is in the shade 02 Brownie Brows. And I really enjoy this because it really keeps my eyebrows in place and also adds a tint to my very naturally sparse eyebrows. I really like the formula as well because it's not too like liquidy but it's not also too thick. So naturally I would typically do my eyeshadows after doing my brows but I feel like that's a whole video in itself because I feel like for 2018 I tried out so many eyeshadow palettes because I just love eyeshadow palettes. Comment below if you love and enjoy makeup what is your favorite products what is like your kind of kryptonite you know like what do you like what's your weakness like what do you always purchase when there's new releases for me it's eyeshadow palettes so I have so much and comment below if you would like me to do a separate video I'm thinking that in itself should be a separate video as I tried out probably 20 or 30 different eyeshadow palettes this year so I would like to know if you would like to see a separate video of eyeshadow palettes so for 2018, I feel like there were two eyeliners that I consistently use and love. And the first one is Physician's Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum. This is in the shade Ultra Black. It truly does drag down to a really dark, deep black shade. It is what I'm wearing right now. It also is a matte finish. And I really like that it has a brush tip because it really helps you get into, like, whenever, like, when I have my falsies on, it really helps to cover up the glue, the lash glue. And so I really like to use this, especially after once I've already applied my lashes. And I feel like this has lasted me entire year. The next eyeliner is the Tarte Tardis double take eyeliner I really like this eyeliner because it has one side a pencil eyeliner and then the other side is a liquid and I really like that because when I'm traveling I really can just take this and I don't have to get like a pencil eyeliner especially for my tight line so I really do like this but I think the standout product on this is the liquid eyeliner because it does although it's a felt tip and felt tips typically do dry faster this has last this has lasted me entire year and I've not had a problem with it also like typically felt tips the end gets dry and this has not dried down whatsoever it's very very deep black and it just has a very nice very matte finish as well I also have two favorite mascaras for 2018 I typically am not really picky with mascaras because I typically just wear whatever which one that is open at the moment but these two mascaras I've repurchased and I noticed that I typically don't repurchase mascara so that's, that means a lot to me. So the first one is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. This is in the shade Black is Black. And this is, first of all, a very affordable mascara option. And also it's very black, especially the shade. And it doesn't flake, it lasts all day. It's very comfortable. It, like it says, it volumizes and it lengthens my lashes, which I don't have very much of. And the next mascara is the Tarte Tardis or Tartis lash paint and I really like this mascara because of the like wand it's a very plastic wand but I like it because it really separates my individual lashes and very similar to the lash paradise 
formula. It lasts all day, it doesn't flake on me. So I really don't have that many favorite face products, but if I had to choose one bronzer that I feel like I really enjoyed and consistently used for 2018, I would have to give it to the ColourPop Press Powder Bronzer because first of all, I feel like it's so affordable and I feel like this is such an underrated product. I really enjoy it. First of all, it doesn't come with the compact. I think it's like a dollar, two dollars more for the compact and the actual pressed powder bronzer comes separately. And I believe this is in the shade Afternoon Delight. And I really like this color. First of all, it's not too warm, it's not too cool. And I think it's the formula that really gets me is that it's very blendable, it's not patchy, and it's so affordable. I feel like, and there's so many different like bronzer options to choose from as well. So one highlight that I've grown to really love in 2018 and consistently packed with me every single time I traveled is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed. And this is in the shade Opal. And here it is. It actually is like a pinky champagne gold finish. I love it. I feel like it's very flattering. And this is actually like um, one of those, like not, I wouldn't say it's a sample, Maybe it's a sample, but it's a. it came in one of those um, Sephora like favorite boxes and I'm really glad I got this because I would have never picked up this shade on my own and it's so beautiful and I feel like it's just so flattering and it's Becca, you know, the formula is just so smooth and it's just glides on the skin so effortlessly. So I really like this shade first of all and just the formula of course it's Becca. So moving on to lipsticks, I have a few favorites and best for 2018. And the first one is this ColourPop Ultra Sand Lipstick. And this is a collaboration with I Love Sarahi or Karen. She's a fellow YouTuber. And this lipstick shade is 951. I just love this shade. I don't know how to really describe it, but I, for me, I would say it's more like a pinky brown. Definitely more brown, but you can definitely tell there's like a pink undertone to it, but it's so beautiful and I love these brownie nudes and I just love the Ultra Satin formula from ColourPop. Another liquid lipstick that I love is the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the shade Truffle. I feel like this is such a perfect everyday nude that really goes with any makeup look you can really create. And I love the formula, it's just so comfortable on the lips. Very similar, it's like that pinky, like pinky brownie nude, but I feel like it's so beautiful and I feel like it would match a variety of complexions. And finally, to finish off my Best of Beauty 2018 products, and how I would typically finish off my makeup is with setting spray. So for 2018, I feel like I tried a variety of setting sprays as well, but one that I consistently gravitate towards and always am reaching for is the Mario Badescu Skincare Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. This is specifically this one. I love this scent, and I feel like this specific formula is very hydrating, and it really just like freshens up my skin. I try so many many other setting sprays and although I do like them I still feel like this is one of the best ones for my skin and it's also very affordable I've tried the lavender one as well and the rose one with the Mara Badescu line but I still prefer this cucumber and aloe um, scent it's just it smells good it feels good and it really just helps kind of melt my powders and my makeup all together and I just love it all right, so that was all of my Best of Beauty 2018 products. Comment below what was your favorite beauty product from 2018. I would love to know. And in case you're wondering, I do link every single product that I do mention in the description box. So you can definitely find a link there that will link you to the exact product that I do mention. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.